Hey Thrivers, today I want to talk about the one thing that a narcissist uses against you. A narcissist need to use this against you because a narcissist can't supply this for themselves. You see, there's this grand illusion about narcissists that they're big, they're strong, they're powerful. Know this, a narcissist is not powerful. They're not confident. They're not whole. They're not their own energy source. A narcissist is in fact an empty vessel. There are no self. The narcissist has self-divorced their inner being, their true self, deciding that it can't get its needs met, consciously or unconsciously, and they've erected a false self in its place. This false self is not a true self. It doesn't have a connection to source. So therefore, it doesn't have a connection to energy, well-being, life force. This is an empty black hole that needs to suck energy in order to be able to exist, in order to be able to feed itself with the notoriety and the significance to try to have an experience of feeling whole and worthy, which is also faux. It's not true. It's the best that a false self can do. Because a false self is connected from source, it's a dark entity. It's operating out of lack, fear, emptiness, insecurity, and pain. Now, this is the thing. When you're in a true self source connection, you have a source of love, approval, survival, and security. And a false self, a false source masquerading as a big shiny light or masquerading as what's going to grant you the remedy to the emptiness or what's missing or what's hurt, you're not going to take it up. Because very quickly when you are connected to source and when we're healed up enough, these people become those triggers that we were getting even when we weren't healed, where we knew that there was something wrong and it just didn't feel right or they say or do something or have a reaction. And we talked ourselves out of it because we were really projecting onto them that we wanted them to be our source. We wanted them to be the answer to our loneliness or our emptiness or not being met or loved or not being validated because they were pretending as false selves do. They're very good at masquerading and being chameleons to show up as what other people have got missing or don't have going in their own life to be able to infiltrate in and get to bond with them so that they can start sucking and regulating narcissistic supply from that person. So what is the one thing that a narcissist holds over you? Your fear, your gaps, your disconnection to source where you're not at one with self and source, where we are feeling empty or lonely or needy or unhealed or fearful or lacking or missing those parts of ourselves that we've been wanting as an adult and our an exterior saviour to come along to give us us because that means that we're wanting a false source. We haven't realised that between us and ourselves and our own dynamics and our own inner being and our own ability to release trauma and bring in source and heal ourselves up to a true source connection, we haven't realised that that coming home is through ourselves. It's never, ever through another. And the narcissist is the other masquerading as powerful and and glowing and and whole and solid and confident and secure 
and successful and prosperous. The narcissist doesn't believe any of that stuff about themselves because how they heal on the inside, how they feel on the inside is the very opposite. But they masquerade as those things, which is a buffer to how they really feel about themselves. The narcissist can only hook you in through your fears, your gaps and your insecurities that they're very skilled at finding out and connecting to you to see and observe and ask you questions to find out what makes you tick. And then when they find those broken parts that we haven't healed up yet between ourselves and source, then they pretend to be the savior. And that's how they get in. That is the one thing that a narcissist uses against you is your fears and your wounds and your feelings of lack and your emptiness. Because it is absolutely like a predator. A predator will go for the gazelle at the edge of the pack or trailing behind that's limping. Because it means that not too much energy needs to be exerted to be able to get the payoff, to get the feed. And with a narcissist, it's exactly the same. If they can sense where you're limping, then they can come in and pounce and hook you into them and hook themselves into you and then they start feeding. They've secured narcissistic supply. So to not be that person, it's about healing ourselves up to be a robust bison in the pack, knowing who we are, having great boundary function, able to say no, able to question, able to trust our inner gut, take our time with people to see who what their character is, whether they stack up, whether it adds up, because we already feel whole and solid and connected to source. We don't need to accept something on a whim or because we're having a chemical rush. And that absolutely flushes a narcissist out because the predator that, that they are, they need to secure the feed for less energy that it takes to expend to get it because they don't have their own energy source. I really hope that this has made sense, okay? Because you don't have to be that gazelle who's susceptible. Not everybody is susceptible to narcissists, not at all. And when you heal up the Thrive Away, you will never be susceptible or even fearful of narcissists again. They can't take you down when you're that robust bison in your body, in life, being yourself, regardless of what anybody else is or isn't being. No narcissist is a match for your light. And like a parasitical vampire, they have to operate in the shadows. The shadows are your wounds. Without those shadows, there is only a light that repels that darkness of a false self. I hope that this has given you hope. Check out the link that I've put in the show notes with this because it's really going to help you get into this deeper and understand how to heal yourself up to never be susceptible again. Lots of love. Bye-bye.